Let's create together this wedding guest eyeshadow look. First, I'm starting with the concealer, but you can use an eye primer as well. And I place this on my lid and I outline my eyebrows. This will create a smooth canvas for our eyeshadow and it will make the makeup to stay longer. Then I blend this with a sponge. For the next step, as I always mentioned, I'm putting translucent powder on top of the concealer and this will help my makeup to stay longer and not to crease. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. I'm taking this brown color and I place this one with a small blending brush on my crease, on the entire crease, as you can see on this video. I'm using the Natasha Denona mini palette but you can use whichever palette that you have at home because we are going to use only the basic colors depending on the pigment of uh, your eyeshadow apply one two or three layers but the key is to softly build it up and as you can see on this video once i apply uh, this brown shade on the crease uh, at the endings i'm creating just a small wing and I'm blending this nicely. So I'm taking my time with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this light brown color on a small fluffy brush, tapping always any excess of product. And I'm going to blend uh, the dark brown. My brush is a bit destroyed. I'm waiting for my new brushes, but that's not important. Uh, the important thing that I want to say, guys, is that we want to slowly build up those colors. Uh, don't put too much product. Always tap any excess of product from the brush and take your time while you're blending make linear and circular moves these guys will look like the perfect mess before it's done but i encourage you to continue it's going to look beautiful and a quick reminder if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up share it to a friend because it means a lot to me Next, I'm taking this creamy color and uh, tapping any excess of product and I'm placing this color beneath my brow bone and I take my time while I'm blending uh, this color uh, just to achieve a really nice gradient effect uh, starting from the darker to the lightest shade. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, you know that I always say makeup is a back and forward process and for that reason I'm taking the light brown color and I'm blending a bit more above the crease uh, just to ensure that I have a really nice transition between the colors and then using the same brush I'm taking the dark brown and I will put a bit more focus on my outer crease and the angle shape and girlies if you have some problems uh, while creating uh, any eyeshadow look let me know in the comments and i will make sure to reply or give you some tips and tricks uh, for the next thing and it's the most important one it's to create the crease the cut uh, of it and i'm putting just a small amount of concealer as you can see uh, on that way i can uh, define where i want my crease to start uh, and uh, as you can notice the angle shaped i'm doing it uh, into the direction of the ending of my eyebrow and i think that the easiest way then i'm cleaning it with some cute tips this it might be a bit tricky at the beginning but as time goes by it will become a routine to you as it is to me i'm using two or three q-tips uh, with uh, water and the cleanser on them and uh, once i'm finished with this I'm putting uh, one more time concealer. Uh, why I'm doing this uh, this way is because I think this is the easiest alternative there is uh, to create this. 
You girlies know that I don't own a lot of makeup. Uh, I do uh, my best with everything that I have currently. But now, please do subscribe because at the end of July, I have some new arrivals, uh, new things that will become part of my routine. So don't forget and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> One more time on top of the concealer, I will put a translucent powder because uh, as you know, I want to avoid creasing, especially this time where I will place a shimmery color. I use uh, this uh, golden shimmer from NARS. I like this uh, color because it has a really soft glow. You can use whichever color that you want or whichever shimmer. I think it will look uh, really nice uh, and I'm putting two layers of this color. This color in real life looks really good and then with a small fluffy brush I'm taking the light brown color and I will blend just on my outer corners. If you have any fallouts from the eyeshadow, you can easily clean them with wet wipes. And now on the lower lash line. On the lower lash line, I like to take this dark brown color on an angled brush and I'm applying this one on the whole lower lash line as you can see, but I don't want the line to be very thin. And uh, for the next step, I'm taking this creamy color and with a different kind of angle brush, I will just smudge it. Uh, then I finish this look with a black eye pencil, some mascara, and here we have uh, the final look. I hope uh, this video was useful. See you until next time. I love you all so much.